While most teenage girls are preoccupied with friends in school, Zahra Lari's mind is consumed by Olympic dreams. The 17-year-old Amarazi has already become the first figure skater from the Gulf to compete in an international competition, as well as the first to do so wearing the hijab. Of course, skating your way to gold takes more than just a little practice. To get some icy perspective, let's get in the rink and find out what it really takes to make sporting history. So Zara, we see very few Emirati female athletes out there. What made you inspired to get into the rink? Um, I watched the movie Ice Princess when I was about 11 <laughs> years old and I like the art of it and the determination. So like about a week and a half after I watched the movie, my dad brought me to Zayed Sport City. And since that day, I started training with my coach, Noemi Guido. Tell me about your training. How often do you have to train? How difficult is it? Um, I do about 12 hours a week and it's pretty tough. I mean, some days are tougher than others, but you just get through it and you just try your best, no matter how many times you fall, and you just get up and you try, just try it again. Tell me about some of your most difficult moves. I know that you do the death drop, which I was quite amazed by. Is there anything else? That's not the hardest move. It's, it's a spin. Um, I find difficulties with double axle, which is two and a half rotations in the air, and it's pretty hard. How do you train for something like that? You just have to do it like, like 50 times. A lesson and you just and you have to do off ice a lot of it off ice to get the strength and to get the rotation get used to the rotation off ice and then once you have that then you can try it on ice and just keep on working on it and then just one day you'll just land it ice skaters usually wear very revealing outfits has it been difficult for you to be wearing the hijab and dress quite conservatively on the ice not really like if you're talking about the shows here my coach has helped me help me a lot because she always does the like costume designs like around what I can wear and I mean she's like tried her best to do everything around like what I can do. So I know you went and competed in the European Cup recently and I've read over and over that you were the talk of the town. Why was that? Well I think I think because I was the first uh, UAE national skater going there and like I, I wear the head scarf and stuff so it's a bit different than what they usually see um, and I had like reporters come from Rome and it was, it was a good experience. Okay, Zahra, I don't think I'm ready for the double axle just yet, but uh, how about teaching me how to do a few turns or something? Sure. <laughs> continues to commit herself to a strenuous 12 hours of training a week. She does so knowing she not only stands as a torchbearer for the UAE, but also as an idol to aspiring female athletes everywhere, like me. I'm getting... <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> 